welcome today we learn about the classification of nidarians so nidaria is divided into three classes hydrozoa scyphozoa and anthozoa so let us learn one by one so hydrozoa so these are the solitary and colonial nidarians they are sessile or free swimming so they, the body form is uh, polyped medusoid form and they show the polymorphism so the mesoglea here is non cellular so cells are absent in mesoglea so next nidocytes are occur in ectoderm only okay next germ cells are derived from the ectoderm so these are the, some of the important characters of hydrozoa examples for hydrozoa are physalia hydra and obelia coming to scyphozoa scyphozoa animals are commonly known as jellyfishes so these are the solitary medusoid forms so mouth is surrounded by so mouth here so these are the medusoid forms mouth is surrounded by four oral arms the coelenteron here is divided into four chambers and uh, some canals mesoglea here contains amebocytes uh, and germ cells are derived from the endoderm so next uh, anthozoans so anthozoans are also known as actinozoa so these are commonly known as sea anemones so they lead sedentary life and they are mainly polypoid forms medusa form is uh, absent so coelenteron is here divided into several compartments uh, known as mesenteries so the compartments of coelenteron are known as here mesenteries so next mesoglea contains uh, connective tissue so here look at the difference be between these three classes so in hydrozoa mesoglea is a uh, clear that is non cellular in a scyphozoans mesoglea contains amebocytes in anthozoans mesoglea contains connective tissue okay so you have to remember remember all these uh, for your uh, neat exam so next uh, nidoblast cells occur in ectoderm and endoderm so both uh, layers contains the nidoblast cells and next uh, germ cells are derived from the endoderm endoderm so in scyphozoa and anthozoa germ cells are derived from endoderm only in a hydrozoa germ cells are derived from ectoderm so you have to remember this difference also next examples for anthozoans are uh, uh, adamsia which is commonly known as sea anemone and corallium rubrum so the precious coral is uh, obtained from this uh, corallium rubrum next example is penantula that is known as a sea pen because it looks like a pen pen shape that's why it is known as a penantula so the anthozoan characters are important for four marks uh, for your board examination so i hope you enjoyed the video happy studying